good morning all of you myself mr ashish aries i am presenting how to use rls logics 400 rocket software for plc programming so this is part first so before we start the software i like to share the how to share the input and output so addressing so addressing of input output so first input addressing is written as data file type that is i double dot zero slash one so zero is slot number and one is bit number so while well, data file type is nothing but so i is nothing but input so data file type is i double dot is delimiter zero is slot number so slot number means so having plc is starts from zero one two three like that number of slot is available with us so if you mention zero slot so they can write zero slash one one is your first input so for second input we can write i double dot zero slash two or third input i double dot zero slash four likewise you can write input addressing in output addressing so only little bit changes there instead of i can write o so o double dot zero slash one that is the number o is your file type zero is your start number then one is your first output suppose you can write second output you can write zero o double dot zero slash two if you recite o double dot zero slash three so likewise you can write output addressing so these are the input output and tracing modes now we go for or circuits so if you write for or circuit that is two normally open are in parallel we know that last last we discuss here then what is that i double dot zero slash one that is your first input i double dot zero slash two that is your second output so if it is anyone is on output is on so this is our or circuit so first of all we go for rls logics 500 software so we install it first then rs logic 500 you can open it so while opening that so file is there you can select new file then new file we can select micrologics 500 so there micrologics 1100 series b either you can see series a or series b so like that we can select okay then we select this row this is called as a row then if you add the number of rows you can write like you can add like this so if you do not require you can directly delete option is available with us so you can write delete then next suppose i want i want to construct this or circuit right so for that purpose this is or circuit so required input one and input two and output one so i can write like this so first of all this trunk you can add then you select this corner this is normally open switch then you go for next corner you can select this normally open switch then you can select this one switch then you go for output switch so you know that this is a rung you are selecting new rung this symbol is there then this is new rung this is normally open normally close and output switch so after that you can give them the address to this system so first input is there so this is i can write i double dot zero slash one so i can write here i capital i double dot zero slash one zero slash one so this is your input first now we can write for second input so i double dot zero slash two so this is input second then next go for first output that is o double dot zero slash one this is output first this is save okay 
so while simulation we go first of all we save this file save then you can select any closing point so i select desktop and this is the or circuit so i can write or security or security save so after save you can go go for verification on this project so after verification this remark will be there bull 1763 this is verification code for the system now we can go then you can go for save so it is changing the versions okay then you can save it the report that is print preview or you can say print view so it will okay and here the report will be generated so you can write as save format then this file will be saving dot xps and after that we can convert into tf file so this program i have to snap it over here this is same program or or circuit this is manual you can write and if it is go for software so this will be using software like this so next circuit is and circuit you know that and circuit so if it is input one and input two is on then an output will be on so both is on is required so this is called as and circuit now we constructing with the help of rs logic software then next you can select new close this yes then again you can select series b or series a series a then next we go for this trunk then this is wrong then you can select two normal this is two normally open contact and then output so first of all you can write here i double dot zero slash one so this is first input so again you can write here i double dot zero slash two this is number two input then next here you can write o double dot zero slash one so this is first output so you can write output first so likewise you can save it then file save again we go for desktop this is desktop here so desktop right this is and circuit so i can write and ckt save it after you go for verify the projects then this code will be generated that means verification is done then again you can save it so new version will be created so likewise you can write and circuit so i snap it and i paste it for here this is the core circuit and circuit so this is the core circuit and and circuit next problem we go for next problem this is by manual one and this is by software one so next point is next example for simple one contact and one coil circuit so here one input is there and one output is there so this is simple program so again we go for new one you can select yes then we go for next that is series b then we go for next run we select here first then go for next run then we select normally open switch and one input and one output that's why i can write one input and one output so here i can write i is the file number double dot this is this delimiter then zero zero slash one this is first input okay then next we go for this output o 
double dot zero slash one. This is output first. So likewise, we can write the number of programs. So this is the circuit for simple one contact and one coil circuit. So one contact is there and one coil is there. So this is the program. So I can again you can save it into the desktop mode. So this is the one coil and one contact. So this is the circuit. So you can save it and again we can go for very bad projects. So again we can go for same purpose. So again we can take the snap and this is by manually and this is for this is by circuit. So this is by circuit that is simple one one coil circuit. The next problem is simple start stop switch circuit with latching circuits. So here simple start and stop. Start means we can start the output and stop the output. So first of all, we can manually construct this diagram. These two lines is called as power rails, and these two is the rungs. This is first rung and second rungs. So this circuit is called as latching circuit. This first rung is called as latching circuit. Why it is called latching circuit? Because we are giving the output reference to the this side. This is called as latching circuits. So where we can yeah, use latching circuit where continuous supply is required then we only can use continuous that is latching circuit. So when input one is on, output one is on. But input one is momentary switch. So output one is energized. Because of that this reference the current will be flow this end to this end. That means this one to this path. But when input two is on this is normally closed switch when it is on the current will be goes off that means output will be off so this is the start and stop circuit but again we can attach this output to the lamp so what is the meaning of that when input one is on output one is on so because of that this will be energized and because of this energizing this lamp will be on so when input 2 is on at that time this output 1 and lamp will be off so this is called as simple start stop seal circuit so this is by manually we are constructing now software so again we can go for file new yes so series b okay then you can select this then new run then you go for this latch then this two normally open switch so I can normally open contacts then normally close contact right and then this contact then next we can select next term so while selecting next term we require one of the input this one that's why i can write normally open contact and then this is the second output so i can this is the first input so i can write i double dot zero slash one this is number input one okay again we can write here i double dot zero slash two this is input two then next we go for output o double dot zero slash one so this is the output first Now this is latching circuit because of that we can copy this function and we can paste it. So this circuit is called as or this first term is called as latching circuit. And with the help of this reference that is output one, we can paste it over here directly. 
and this is then it generates for second output that is we can write o double dot zero slash two so this is lamp so this is called as simple start stop seal circuit with latching so we can save it file save then we go for desktop and this is the latch start and stop security save it and verify this project so after verification the no error is found look at this no error found so then you can save it and then you can take snapshot so I have taken a snapshot of this simple start and stop circuit. Then next we move for next problem. This is the light control example. So light control example. The example is given that. So first of all we construct for manually and then we go for software. So first of all we read this I like a lighting control system is developed for the system there are four switches which a b c d so there are four switches and this switch is lighting on lighting in a room based on the following criteria so first criteria is there any of three switches that is a b c so any three switches is turned on the lamp will be on that is lighting is on so that's why so first we categorize for input and output terminals so there are four input terminals there that is switch a switch b switch c switch d so i can addressing by this method that is i double dot dash zero slash one for this is first input second input slash two third input slash three fourth input slash four then next point this is first output that is lamp so here lamp is turn on so here lighting is turned on is mentioned over here right so lighting on that's why first output is there and after switch d so that is switch d is turned on the light will be off so that first output is off and buzzer will be on so the second output will be energized so that is buzzer right now well we can place this switch d in that position only this switch when it is on none of the three switches that is a b c is no any control so that's why we construct this switch a switch b switch c in a parallel way that is in a ladder switch a switch b switch c that is i double dot zero slash one slash two slash three these are in parallel manner and this switch d is called as or can say i double dot zero slash four that is switch d is called as master control switch so when you are placing or turning on these three switches lamp will be on but the switch four is on lamp is off and because of this switch four the buzzer will be on so whenever value it becomes one lamp will be off and here buzzer will be on so this is the lightning control system so first of all these three inputs is in parallel way and switch 4 is in c in in first row so we are placing on that side okay so this is by manually now we move for software so again we go for this software file new yes series b okay then next we select first switch new ladder or you can say new room so we can add number of rooms we undo or cancel it so first of all we place in this one so place latching circuit is there 
so it is like this so, so we can add first strings so this is first switch that is switch a switch b so directly you can play like this also switch b switch c after that switch d and first output then you can select next one next term. then next this is normally open switch then go for second output that is buzzer so i can write first input that is i double dot zero slash one this is in we can write as a switch a then you can write i double dot zero slash two switch b then next i double dot zero slash three switch c then next we can write here this is your fourth input so i can write i double dot slash slash zero slash four input four or you can see switch d switch d okay the next this is first output so i can write o double dot zero slash one output one or you can see this is lab now here this is switch d because of the switch d i double dot zero slash four because of the switch d buzzer will be on so that's why i can write four double dot zero slash two so this is buzzer so again we can save it so this is lightning control problem so i can write here lightning control That's why it's safe. So again, you can verify it and then save it. So again, you can take snaps and I have saved here. So this is manually done. So this is the sort by software. So this is the regarding how to use software so this is simple circuits we are constructing over here in next session we constructing for different circuits using timer and counter thank you